said I not unto you, If you would believe, you should see the glory of God? After our hostess had spoken, there was a deep silence for a moment. Then she continued, Understand that, if it is not finished and your desire is not now visible, the fault is within yourselves and not with God. Do not go back again to the asking, but, like Elijah, persist. Hold out the cup until it is filled. Pour out your blessings and thanks that it is done now, though every mortal thought of error beset you. Go on, go on, it is here now. And believe me, your faith is rewarded. Your faith becomes knowing. We will suppose it is ice you desire. Would you begin by speaking out the word ice all about you indiscriminately? If you did, you would scatter your forces in all directions and nothing would come to you. You should first form a mental picture of what you desire. Hold it directly in thought just long enough to get the image. Then drop the image entirely and look directly into the universal God substance. Know that that substance is a part of God and therefore a part of you. And in that substance, there is everything you need. That God is pressing that substance out to you just as fast as you can use it. And that you can never deplete the supply. Then, know that everyone who has created that supply has brought forth from this substance. Whether they have done it consciously or unconsciously. Now, with your thought and vision fixed on the one central atom, God, hold that atom until you have imprinted your desire upon it. You will lower the vibration of that atom until it becomes ice. Then all the atoms surrounding that one will hasten to obey your desire. Their vibration will be lowered until they will adhere to the central particle and in a moment you will have ice. You do not even need any water about you. You need only the ideal. Again, there was a deep silence. In a moment, a picture appeared upon the wall of the room. At first, the forms were still, and we thought but little of it. But then the forms began to move about, and we could see their lips move as though they were talking. Immediately, our attention became fixed, and our hostess said, This picture is depicting a scene that happened long ago, when the weaker empire was at its height. You can see how beautiful the people are, and the country is warm and sunny. You can see how the trees are swayed by the breezes. Even the colours are reproduced. There were no fierce storms to disturb the land or its inhabitants. If you will give close attention, you will hear them speak, and, if you can understand the language, can tell what they are talking about. You can even see the play of the muscles of the body as they move about. Our hostess ceased speaking, but the pictures continued to pour in, with scenes changing at intervals of about two minutes until we seemed to be a part of the picture, so close did they appear to us. Suddenly, there came a scene with three of our party in it. There was no mistaking them. We could hear their voices and recognised what they were talking about. It proved to be an incident that had taken place in South America about ten years previous. Then our hostess resumed, 
we are able to throw thought vibrations into the atmosphere which connect with the thought vibrations of those that have passed. And our vibrations collect those of the thoughts gone before until they draw them together at a given point. Then you are able to see these scenes reproduce just as they were when the scenes occurred. This may seem phenomenal to you, but it will not be long before your people will be producing pictures similar to these you have seen. The only difference is that they will be photographic and mechanical, while ours are neither. <laughs>